Hello, this is Andrew. This is the second part of the look at the Specialized S-Works Power Crank Power Meter. Uh, in this video, we're going to look just at the um, power numbers compared from the S-Works Power Meter to uh, Wahoo Kicker. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a power, another power meter that I could use to uh, compare outdoor rides. Um, with the S-Works. Um, so all I can say there is that the power numbers both in average and observationally are consistent with when, when bringing average, when bringing speed into the equation are consistent with what I would expect to see from a power meter for the, the given speed. Um, so you kind of take that for what it's worth. Um, it's hopefully something I can sort out in the future, but uh, Budget is not unlimited for these projects. Uh, so we have uh, two structured workout kind of rides and then one uh, free ride. I, I've recorded quite a few other rides. It's just that these three kind of capture um, it, essentially what I expect to see or what I have seen in all the other ones when I was looking at them. Uh, it's important to note that in this case, Cadence is captured for the S-Works um, by the S-Works power meter, and Cadence is captured for the kicker using a Wahoo Cadence sensor that was placed on my shoe where the um, Cadence sensor for the S-Works is the crank itself. Um, that's consistent with all of these. Um, so there's a couple of things that I found to be pretty interesting. And, and you can see here where the Cadence is relatively the same between both cadence uh, tracking devices, where the power from the kicker drops in a way which is somewhat unexplained. It, that shouldn't happen. Um, and you can see it again here, where it drops, where cadence tracks relatively close. And we're here where we have a drop in power. We do see a drop in cadence on the S-Works and the Wahoo sensor, but the S-Works tracks much, goes down much quicker than the Wahoo kicker does, and then recovers at about the same rate. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on here. I just pointed, wanted to point out that there's something, there's, something, there's a little a bit of a difference there. Um, and then here where the cadence actually goes to zero, and we can see that with both of the cadence sensors. The S-Works drops to zero with power very quickly and in a way which is very consistent with what we see from the cadence, where the, Wah where the Wahoo kicker actually never hits zero, even though looking at the cadence, we know that it, it should have because no output, no, no spinning means no power. Um, so that, that's an interesting thing to note as well. Otherwise, um, there's, you know, there is some difference. We actually expect the S-Works to be a little bit higher in most cases because of where power is measured. It's measured at the crank with the S-Works and measured at the, what would be the wheel hub with the um, kicker. So it's normal to see somewhere between 3 and 5% lower number with a hub base versus a crank based power meter drive chain efficient drive train efficiency loss is what causes that. Um, I'm not, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to point out here. Oh, here's another example of where the kicker kind of drops power where I, I wouldn't expect it to. Um, because it's important to re remember that this is a, a structured workout ride. So um, power here should be relatively consistent um, and fixed during the ride. So um, yeah. And then this other one, same kind of ride. Uh, Power is slightly higher, 50, 50, 40, 40, I think, was what I calculated earlier. Um, you do see a, a bit of a cadence difference between the S-Works and the Wahoo cadence sensor, um, which if it was only, if we we're only looking at these two on the right side, um, that could explain some of the difference in power because cadence is an important or an essential part of calculating power. But here we see very, slight difference in cadence, um, what, one RPM 
uh, for the, this spin up for the, the sprint here. Um, but we do see still see a significant difference in power between the S-Works and the uh, Wahoo kicker. Uh, then looking at a free ride, um, we can kind of see, again, that same thing with the kicker where it drops power in a way which I wouldn't expect it to. As the cadence comes down, it, the power drops a lot faster um, and probably in a less explainable way than it does with the S-Works uh, power crank. Uh, otherwise, they do track relatively closely, um, exhibiting very much the same kind of stuff that we see, whereas the S-Works is slightly higher, reacts a little bit faster. Oh, here's another uh, place where the kicker drops out. Um, although this, this, some of these might be environmental, I don't know. Um, so I, I guess the, the takeaway that I got from this is that, um, is more that the kicker might not be as good of a source of power as I expected, is that I thought it was. Um, because I've seen, the issues that I'm seeing appear to be more with the kicker than they are with the S-Works power crank, which is in some ways confidence inspiring when it comes to the S-Works power crank, but not so confidence inspiring when it comes to the um, uh, kicker. Uh, hopefully this was useful. Hopefully uh, I didn't mess it up too horribly. If I did, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to um, look at, at, at what what other people have to say about this kind of analysis. It is interesting. It's not something that um, I, I mean I do it personally um, quite quite frequently with the rides that I do um, inside, just to kind of have a look at how things are progressing, what I'm doing, that sort of thing. Um, but if there are things that you think I could do better, please let me know. I'm happy to. Uh, have a look at that and uh, respond as best as I can. Um, please like the video if you liked it, if you didn't, and um, you don't feel like it, leaving a comment for why you disliked it, um, go ahead and hit that dislike button. But otherwise, uh, comments are for dislikes are usually much more useful than um, just whacking the dislike button because um, then, you know, there's something actionable. Either I can ignore it or I can fix it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.